Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 6A. I wanted to start off by talking about why I karma run, you know, why I go for the high scores that I do. And um, one of my friends asked me once, you know, why do you do it if it gets you as frustrated as, you know, you say, and, you know, a lot of people, you know, they know how frustrating a karma run can be of, you know, this magnitude. But, like Bigowski says in his videos, you know, when you've got a certain skill level at the game, you know, going through it for survival is so easy, it's just not fun anymore. And you know, I've done various handicap runs throughout Master Ninja, you know, with, with no items, you know, no health upgrades, no nimpo, you know, etc. And even that doesn't even compare to how, you know, to how hard a karma run can be. Now, you don't actually see it, but at the start of the chapter, the first thing I do is um, upgrade my wooden sword twice at Muramasa and, you know, fill up my smoke bombs. But um, smoke bombs aren't really that whole importantly in, in this chapter because, you know, I'll explain something about that later because the enemies in it. But for this fight, you've got um, 15 seconds. I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about, you know, knowing what is possible in certain time limits. You know, with a certain understanding of the, you know, the game, you know, with 15 seconds and the armor celerity and being able to chain essence, you know, you know that two UTs and an ET is going to be possible. It's just a, you know, it's just a way of figuring out how you're going to get that, you know, how you're going to get those attacks out of that fight while still making the time limit. And as I said, you know, that is the challenge of a karma run over just playing through it. Now for this fight, you'll either be able to charge up a UT there or, you know, the monks will teleport and hit you. And that's why I was talking about smoke bombs earlier. The reason I don't use smoke bombs in this fight is because, you know, I've got the arm at celerity and, you know, you, you, you kind of, sometimes you need them and sometimes you don't, you know, sometimes they work, but, you know, the monk fiends are just so annoying when it comes to smoke bombs, you know, they, they always, like, teleport through them or teleport behind Ryu and Ryu will just, you know, attack a, a pillar or something or just not do anything and completely waste the UT. And then, you know, you've got to start over, so, you know, it's why I prefer not to use smoke bombs in this fight. But as I said before in Chapter 5, you know, it's... Smoke bombs, to a degree, are kind of instinct, you know, sometimes you know when to use them, you know when not to use them. You know, over the advantage of forward Y and, you know, wind pathing and certain, you know, all the techniques that can get you an ET to a UT instead of a smoke bomb. Now this fight's also pretty annoying, you know, that if that imp doesn't jump towards you at the start, you know, you can't really kill that monk as quickly as you can. But, you know, the air destruction slash should do it, and there again, you know, I drop a smoke bomb and he just comes right through and hits me. But, you know, like I said, you know, shit happens on a karma run, there's no you can do. And again, you know, he does his, you know, ground attack on me while I drop my smoke bomb. And there it is, you know, three out of three smoke bombs I drop, you know, only one actually works. Like I say, here's what I talk about, knowing your, com knowing your combat and, you know, knowing what moves you can get away with in that. With, you know, that monk doing the attack and he was going to, you know, I knew I'd have time to stun him to be able to get that extra UT in. And as Big Owski said, you know, it's a karma run is large about, you know, knowing your enemies, knowing your surroundings, knowing, you know, what you can do and when you can do it. Now, this last gauntlet of fights is just absolutely... It, it, there's just no word for how annoying this this last run of gauntlet your fights is. It's just so frustrating because you know Ninja Dog is you know like I say it's very easy and you know one stray hit when you don't want it to you know can kill an enemy and also with the you know the settings you've got to fight in you know they're really confined you know they're really small you've got absolutely no margin for error and if one thing goes wrong you know you're gonna have to reset. There's just no two ways about it. You can actually chain that essence if you um, go straight into this um, room and just open the safe straight away. You can chain that essence, but you know this fight towards the end uh, of this gauntlet, it, it goes, you know, it goes all wrong, and I, you know, mess all of it up. So I'm probably going to go back and redo it. Now, what you, you sometimes you can just charge a full UT here with that smoke bomb, but as usual, you know, they, they, he just completely ignores it. But this fight, you know, from here on in, is a really good run. You know, I've got some really, really good points in this fight. It's basically just a case of, you know, going up and down, you know, chaining your UTs and getting as many UTs as you can on the imps. 
And, you know, I get kind of lucky with them, you know, going underground sometimes so I don't kill two. But, you know, this is pretty much, you know, largely what you've got to do for this fight. And, you know, so I, I save the monks till last because even though they're annoying, you know, when there's only one monk on screen, it's quite easy to get, you know, a, an ET to a UT. Just wait till they attack at you, roll, and then charge, and you should be able to release, no problem. You can actually get sneaky and release it, you know, at a certain time when they're a certain distance, and you won't kill them with one, and, you know, you might be able to get another ET. But, you know, as you can see with this last one, you know, he takes a long time getting into a position where I can actually kill him. And if I'd have gone for, you know, an extra ET or something, you know, I probably wouldn't have made that time. But, but yeah, this is where it all goes wrong. You know, this fight, I kind of underestimated how much time you had. You know, you got quite a bit of time, but, you know, I thought you just had a lot more. And, you know, I just, I just messed things up because of that. Now, I used the nunchucks, and, you know, the nunchucks is a good UT because it's really weak. But, you know, the main drawback on it is that, you know, it is really long. And there again, I think that's complete bullshit how he gets me out of that smoke bomb. Like, he goes to attack the smoke, like, where I dropped the smoke bomb. And then, like, he turns and attacks me, and, you know, it kind of goes against the whole point of why they're in the game. But, yeah, it's just one of them things. I mean, I, I, like here, you know, I think I'm in pretty good shape. You know, I've got the best part of 20 seconds left to kill three people. And, you know, there is pretty much the mistake I made. You know, I should not have charged. I should have just ET'd that imp. And I probably would have been able to get two UTs, you know, from the remaining monks. But with where the last one spawns, you know, bar using Inferno Nimp, I don't think there's any way I would have been able to kill him in the time I had left. <laughs> 